Genesis chapter 16, New American Standard Version. Now Sari, Abram's wife, had not yet borne him a child, but she had an Egyptian slave woman whose name was Hagar. So Sari said to Abram, See now, the Lord has prevented me from bearing children. Please have relations with my slave woman. Perhaps I will obtain children through her. And Abram listened to the voice of Sari. And so, after Abram had lived ten years in the land of Canaan, Abram's wife Sari took Hagar the Egyptian, her slave woman, and gave her to her husband Abram as his wife. Then he had relations with Hagar, and she conceived. And when Hagar became aware that she had conceived, her mistress was insignificant to her. So Sari said to Abram, May the wrong done to me be upon you. I put my slave woman in your arms, but when she saw that she had conceived, I was insignificant to her. Sight, may the Lord judge between me and you. And Abram said to Sari, Look, your slave woman is in your power. Do to her what is good in your sight. So Sari treated her harshly, and she fled from her presence. Now the angel of the Lord found her by a spring of water in the wilderness, by the spring on the way to Shur. He said, Hagar, Sari's slave woman, from where have you come and where are you going? So she said, I'm fleeing from the presence of my mistress, Sari. So the angel of the Lord said to her, Return to your mistress and submit to her authority. The angel of the Lord also said to her, I will greatly multiply your descendants so that they will be too many to count. The angel of the Lord said to her further, Behold, you are pregnant and you will give birth to a son. You shall name him Ishmael because the Lord has heard your affliction. But he will be a wild donkey of a man. His hand will be against everyone, and everyone's hand will be against him, and he will live in defiance of all his brothers. Then she called on the name of the Lord who spoke to her. You are a God who sees me. For she said, Have I ever seen him here and lived after he saw me? Therefore, the well was called Beer Laya Roy. Behold, it is between Kadesh and Bered. So Hagar bought a son, born a son to Abram, and Abram named his son to whom Hagar gave birth, Ishmael. Abram was 86 years old when Hagar bore Ishmael to him. This is the word of the Lord.